Let's get my next guest out. She is the finest mezzo soprano in the country. It's Catherine Jenkins. <laughs> You chuckle everyone. Come on, oh. guys. If you would shove along there, now we've got the. Wow, that is Thank a, you. Uh, well, congratulations because since last we spoke and last I saw you, you you became a mother and you have a. I did. How old is your daughter now? She's uh, nearly six months. Wow. So it's a uh, little Aaliyah. She's she's amazing. I'm totally besotted. Well, congratulations. That's so you. lovely. Now you're you're Welsh, of course. Yes. Your husband's American. Yes. Uh, what accent is she going to have? Oh. Do you think? <laughs> I, I worry about this all the time because I'm very proud of my Welsh accent. I would love her to have a Welsh accent, but um, I think I wonder if she's going to end up somewhere in the middle. If she's going to have one of those sort of transatlantic kind of messed up accents, which yeah. I <laughs> I don't want her to have. But we'll is see. There, I, I think I've never heard of I've never heard a Welsh American. Catherine, Catherine Zeta Jones sounds a little <sighs> bit. Oh yeah, because she'll be speaking like that and then go, oh, you lad, you know. Sort of this, uh, <laughs> You've been just about everywhere on the planet, haven't you? I mean, you've travelled the world singing. Yes. Haven't you? Uh, yeah. And do you have you picked up languages when you travel? Can you sing in other languages as well? Well, um, for classical music, you have to sing in yeah. different languages. Italian anyway. and French, I guess. Yeah. Don't you? What um, about? And German. But um, recently, I learned to sing in Mandarin. Wow. Yeah. So Mandarin, uh, <laughs> so that's, that's the, main, the main Chinese yes. dialect, isn't it? Yeah. Mandarin. Um, I was going over to do a concert, and they asked me if I would learn this sort of. I think it's sort of like a, an iconic song, a uh, modern day pop song from, from China. Um, and so I got a coach and sort of worked on it. And Welsh is really hard. It's, a, it's actually a very difficult language, but Mandarin is, is up there. Would you sing a little bit in Mandarin for us? Could we actually do that? I know that's uh, not what you're going to perform tonight. But... <laughs> if I can remember it. Okay. And I apologise if I get this wrong, because when I was going to when I was going to China, knowing I was singing this song, I literally sang it to the taxi drivers, the waiters, like anyone, just to check I wasn't going to be swearing or you know yeah. re repeating a shopping list to them. Okay. Ni wen wai ni wai ni there we go. Wow, oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what that phrase, the phrase is there meant? What were you actually singing there in uh, that language? It's about the moon represents my... The moon represents your heart or my heart. Wow. Yeah, well, it's, it's, like a it's like a love song. Now, this is exciting. I would have thought you're, you're singing for the Queen's 90th birthday, you You're singing for the Queen. I am. I got asked to um, perform at the, the concert in May, which is going to be at uh, Windsor Castle. Wow. Um, I was asked last year to do this, and it's a, it's a huge honour, because, you know, a 90, 90th birthday in anyone's life is amazing, and, and a, a huge moment to celebrate. And so, for the Queen, this is a, a, a huge thing, so I'm very, very excited to be involved. Have you been asked to sing at people's birthdays before? Have you had, like, you know, older fans who've asked you? In the, obviously, the Queen is different, it's a special event, but... You... Um, well, I get a lot of requests in the concerts for, you know, sort of, will you dedicate a song to somebody? So I did get asked to dedicate a song to a gentleman who is celebrating his 90th birthday. Wow, so same age um, as the Queen. Same age as the Queen, um, but the song that the family chose was Time to Say Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I didn't think was really appropriate. Time to say but if you are going to be did told that by your family, yeah. what, what a nicer way oh. for it to be delivered. <laughs> Wow. I know. Did, did you sing it for them? <laughs> I did. Wow. <laughs> and then, you know, sort of, with more, more with giggles, really, and then yeah, sort of... Yeah. Um, I, th I just don't think they thought it through. OK, well, that's... A, <laughs> but it'd be great singing for the Queen. You won't be singing that, I no, hope. No, I'm not I'm singing not. that okay, for Her okay. Majesty, no. I'm you guys, have you met royalty yet? Have you met the Queen yet? Because you will be now as a result of this, I guess. You've met Prince Harry, haven't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. he, he, he kicks out training. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, uh, you've had a night out with Prince Harry? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about that. Everyone's no. yeah, everyone's had a night out with Prince Harry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, you haven't had a night out with Prince Harry, have you? Did I remember? No. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, now the, you have a new album out. Uh, Captain has a new album out, ladies and gentlemen. It's a lovely album. It's called Celebration. Uh, it's out on the 22nd of April. I should be doing one of the tracks from this in just a moment or two. The Chinese one isn't on there, I noticed. No, that was on the last album. Okay. Okay. Um, no, the, the whole idea of the, al of the album is celebration, so kind of all things that are joyful and anthemic and, and also, I guess, give us a sense of, of national pride, so I want people to 
get up and wave their flags. Yeah, well, they're lovely, and they're all very stirring, quite emotional songs, aren't they? And I yeah. guess, you, do you get into them in that way when you're performing them? You, I mean, definitely there have been some occasions where you realise that it's, you know, quite an emotional thing and you can try and take yourself out of it and just try and do the best performance you can. I did sing at my sister's wedding and it was definitely the worst performance ever. I just couldn't... I couldn't keep it in, you know, I was so happy for you her. You just don't like your sister? <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy for her. It was so such an emotional day and, you know... I was wobbling, I was all over the place, it was rubbish. How lovely that was. Well, but she must have loved that, <laughs> the emotion coming through. That must have made it more special. <laughs> I hope special. I didn't ruin it I'm for sure it. <laughs> Hey, in honour of having the, uh, the rugby team here, and you must be excited sitting next to the England rugby winners. <laughs> well, I didn't think we were going to be friends, but you're all right. <laughs> um, uh, I'm not sure they'll be happy with me when I get back to it. Uh, so lovely to have you with us, and I'm so excited you're going to be singing for us as well this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Catherine Jenkins. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you let the go over and get yourself ready to sing. It's time for me to say thank you to all my guests this evening, of course. Dylan, Billy, JJ and Danny from the England rugby team. Congratulations. The fabulous Mr Russell Howard. And of course, the one only Carrie Fisher. With Gary Fisher. But now, performing World in Union, sit back and enjoy the beautiful voice of Catherine Jenkins. Next, we have the late news here on ITV. And East